Good morning, Atlas in the sunshine. Kept you out of the rain. Good day, peoples. It's time uh, to hit the road again here in Lithuania and continue our ride further up into the country in the direction, I reckon, of the coast. On a sunny slash cloudy day in Druskininkai. Yesterday was my birthday. It was a rainy day too. It wasn't too nice to be on the road. But today we are back on it. But first, remember, we got this beauty here. How do you like the uh, new front tire? <laughs> did, you, did you analyze it when we got here? Here we got the uh, Mitas MC23 Rock Rider. It was stupid cheap here I too. Try it on. 55 <laughs> euros. I like to try a new tire if I can every time. Should be right. Where's your friend? I can do it myself. Front tires are pretty easy and straightforward to spoon on. But let me show you something. So oftentimes when I check the tires and I would look at the knobs, oh yeah, they're almost done, but there was still some there. But when I was here and I checked the tire again, look at this. So that means the tire is wearing unevenly. That's the balance that I've been having is that I want to go to the shop and balance the, uh, the wheel. So uh, I hope I can find it as good as a, of a place as we did in Poland to do that. Of course, this gets us in a bit of a fun situation where we have to bring the tire along still for uh, what 50 kilometers yeah okay, pull it down all right nice work good to go so the owners uh, here only take cash very smart uh, but they had to go on vacation like two days ago when you go just chuck it in the mill okay cool uh which is kind of kind of special man uh, for uh, people uh, to be like that but uh, it uh, resonates with the rest of the place where we've been staying, which has been pretty damn great. Cash money. <laughs> no way. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Nah, that's, that's safe. <laughs> I hope so. So yeah, this is the sort of thing today we hope to be dodging. I got a little bit in the feels to uh, leave this uh, nice little place behind. Spent just over a week here and uh, you did more than a few uh, walk-arounds, didn't you? She's pretty much a local now. <laughs> yeah, simple language. <laughs> oh, you want to come with? Yeah, if you like to. She has a big ass. I mean, Atlas. All right, bye nice house. By Druskininskai. Since we're so close to uh, to Belarus, we're going to pass uh, by the border. Hi, what so go? The three crowns. What does that stand for, fellow Lithuanians? In the comments, I mean, fellow commenters. Oh, look at the whole line here to the Belarusian border. I've seen this more often at other borders with trucks. Like when I was in Turkey and I was riding into Iraq. But uh, this is a very, 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 very long line. Here we are in the Lithuanian customs section and on the other side is uh, the Belarusian border. You might have to do with things uh, as of late because I've heard th it's, it's harder to get things into uh, into Belarus to send them there. I spoke to someone who was still sending things to uh, Kaliningrad, that little uh, separate Russian enclave between Poland and Lithuania, which of course it's even harder to, to get things into there. We couldn't even uh, try for a visa, unfortunately. There things are completely locked out and nothing can officially go over the border. And when I was talking to the person, he told me that he was still selling and there's other ways to get things uh, across the border this here is officially getting into the country you can see how long it takes but there is still unofficial ways of getting things into uh, into countries and that of course is still happening but um we're not heading to belarus at least not today i think you could still get a visa to go there if you wanted to fuel up out of the rain for now how you doing back there all right <laughs> feeling a bit wettish 
she'll be all right. As long as we don't get wet all the time. Not cheap to leave away yet. Yeah. See if we uh, can I could go to a motorcycle shop where they also can balance the wheel. Now they said one of these garages. That looks like a machine. That looks like a balancer. So we'll look see. Hello. Dobre. No, we're not The 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 motocicleta. Um, a service uh, the uh, the moto. Hey, me. Let's see. So the old lady called someone. That's probably who the person who does the service. Probably having lunch or something. And it's these little garages here tucked away. These old storage units. Look at that. It's like these old. Well, store, not storage units, garages as storage units. But it's often that when you need something, the further east you go, the bigger the chances that you end up in a place like this. Uh, maybe a little English? A little bit. Oh, hi. Pedro. So I was wondering, um, uh, I'm looking for tire, changing the front tire. Yeah, we're changing tires, but uh, not taking it out for um, bicycles. No, I take that's that's me. Yeah. But also, do uh, the, the, can you do the balancing? Yeah. How much is it, uh, more or less? Uh, Twenty euros. How uh, much? Twenty. Twenty. Uh, changing and balancing. Yeah. So it's yeah changing. Um, uh, all I need is like a, a jack to get under. Uh, uh, yeah. never seen something like that before uneven wear you need to lay it on like this yeah bring the block that's it okay that fit nice thinking along woman oh, I brought two blocks so maybe one for it here you quick Mariska take the wheel <laughs> okay bye this tire has been giving me mixed signals for the past few thousand kilometers and now I understand why. One day I'd be looking at it and I was like, oh, that's good. And then the other day I was like, huh? Ah, I gotta keep an eye out on that. And then you look again, thousand kilometers later, oh, all right, she'll be all right. Now I understand why. No, TKC80 is for now my number one front tire. I'm in love with the knobbies. With the with the road knobbies, though, as you can see, the knobbies are smaller on the on the rock rider. Pop goes the meet us. Thank you for your service, Ogre TKC80. Almost. 15,000 kilometers. This one is still a little bit too aggressive for what we're doing, especially breaking him in on a rainy day. Really not happy with that though. But it's what it is. How much pressure? Um, not, not, not too hard, maybe 2.2. 2. 2. Okay. Yeah. Now comes pretty much the main reason that we're here. <laughs> that looks very aggressive, doesn't it? I think this is the edge of road legal knobbies. Thank you. Now it's perfect. Uh, the weather is good, eh? <laughs> My friend, let us see Phil. Oh, he's in, in the future, he's going to cry. He'll be sad. Yeah. You have a, a very fast machine, no? 1250. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> but in Lithuania, you cannot go too fast. Otherwise, no, so the I'm, not, I'm not going fast, but uh, everywhere. I know, man. 70, too much. 70. In Poland, they warned me. 
careful with the radar and the police and the cars yes, yes. they follow you. Tickets. Many rules. tickets. Everywhere rules. But, uh, last year was when you 30 kilometers an hour more. Yes. So they take a rise. 30 um, already. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look what the cat dragged out of the rain or no, no, no. were you also waiting? Yeah, you were on the other side. You brought lunch? Nice salad. work. I can do the mechanics again, I think. The good weather is on this side. The bad weather has passed us, I hope. You should take a picture from this side. This is the nicest side. This is the sexy side. So with you, with you. Yeah, also. But then I, but then I can go away and it's, you can get nicer picture. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's okay. You have a Spanish name, yes? I'm, I am Portuguese. Oh, yeah. Originally. My dream is to uh, go some, some day to Portugal. Portugal. Portugal is very nice. Everywhere it's a smile, the smile, the smile. I know, man. No. The world always, every day, more asphalt. More asphalt. Yes. But it also surprised me to uh, travel long with this old old Oldie, late old lady. <laughs> I think we, we like the old ladies then. Yes, I have. Uh, my Yamaha, I call it, yes, it's an uh, old lady. <laughs> Sanutia. How do you say it? Sanutia. 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 Lunchkins. Oh, three times. They didn't speak English, no German, no, yeah, Ruski, but mm. my Russian is not that well, great. Well, he's on yet. the whole alphabet and everything. We've been dual linguing <laughs> yeah, like... Russian hard. I've been working on videos, but she finished the alphabet and then some. I haven't even managed to finish the alphabet. I can read a bit of Russian now. It's pretty cool. Like read the Belarusian names across the border. Hey, that's uh... So, Vanda Transal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, the... The Dakar. The Mitas Dakar back, but no? It's, for me, it's not so good. But yeah, but the front, the front is not so good. It's not a very good, for the back is okay, but yes, for the front not so good, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. In the, in the fresh, fresh? Yeah, it's, it's shit. shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah, so how many kilometers? Uh, about uh, 10,000. 10, 10,000? Yes. Of what year? I know you. Do you? I was looking in the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a, lot of, a, a, a lot of your films. Oh, really? Yeah. And what's your name? Uh, Gintas. Gintas. My, my name, yes. Funny how that goes. The guy in Lithuania has a trans -elf and he knows the channel, of course. All right, let's break this uh, nobby ass front tire in. Right on, my man. See you in the comments, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let's go for a test run here. This is a good place for a test run. Whee! Whee! Tracking in the mud, tracking in the mud. Dump. Hey! It works well here, of course. And now to the road. back there. Alright. Comfy, easy going ride, huh? no more tu, 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 tu. no more bouncing. So far so good. Centras to the right. City center. Look at this. Lisbon vibes from the facades, the colorful facades. We found a place to stay. It's the uh, it's the cheapest place, and it's a whole apartment again, and it's in here. These old wooden buildings here. So we're gonna stay in the barn. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit creaky, a bit windy. You know, okay. it's gonna be spiders and whatnot. Pedro Mota from the booking. 
Hi, uh, to call, I'm calling for the code. Oh, so it's it's not available. Well, that sucks, but so be it. Bye. Yeah, seems to be a general uh, theme. Uh, this happened before uh, with the other place, but it turned out for the best. I seem to magically be able to reserve places that I shouldn't be able to reserve in Lithuania. Two out of two until now. We got another place. Not that many affordable, relatively affordable options. Well, we've been blessed with a 30 euro a night house, but Kaunas doesn't have the cheapest options. And then another place appeared for 49. You got a whole apartment floor again. It looks pretty dope. And it's in the old center, so might as well for uh, three euros more. Green ass, eh? That's Lithuania so far in a nutshell. Green ass. Luckily it's dry at the moment. This would have been fun with the fresh front nobbies. She'll be all right. God, do I love motorcycles, eh? Oh yeah. I'll go through, I'll go for the other one. <laughs> nice. It's uh, the roof, the roof terrace. Not your house. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. Oh, very nice. For uh, only a few euros more, you have the whole bloody house. There's a bathtub. Here's a bathtub. Someone noticed. For me, it was like, oh, there's a shower. And someone's like, eek, we have a bathtub. Hi, people. Short ride. But plenty still happened today. I'll see all of you in the next one. Ciao.